These are the modules that usually stick up with a PLC, and today we will talk about them. The first two component needed is a rack, which holds all of the modules in areas called the slots. The first slot is typically the power supply module, which provides the necessary power to the PLC modules. The output voltage of the power supply that we use is usually 24 volts DC, but the output current varies depending on the number of the modules needed in the PLC. For example, this output current could be 2 or 5 or 10 ampere. Depending on which and how many modules are used, the output current of the power supply may need to be higher. The second slot usually holds the CPU. The CPU is the brain of the system, and its job is to receive inputs, process the logic in the program that we have written, and energize the outputs based on that logic. After the CPU, we may have any number of different input and output modules, depending on the signals and the components that we want to monitor and to control within the process. Before we continue, if you love this video, give it a like, and we make informative videos about automation, so if you are new here, consider subscribing, and let's continue. If we have both digital and analog signals in the process, we will install a digital input module here, and install an analog input module in the next slot. As for outputs within the system, we can install a digital output module for devices that receive digital signals, like contactors, and an analog output module for items that receive analog signals, such as proportional valves. Some applications require that particular signals are processed with higher accuracy. Those signals may not be connected to the standard I.O. modules, but instead require specialized modules called function modules or FMs. FMs process signals independent of the CPU, therefore providing for higher accuracy. Another module that may be installed in this rack is a communication processor or CB. The CPU usually contains network ports for use in industrial networks, such as MBI, Profibus, or Profinet. However, if additional communication ports are needed, we can use a CB module. These are the modules usually used in a PLC. Module selection depends entirely on the process the PLC will control. Some applications may require the use of the CB or FM modules, while others may not. Other factory processes may need many I.O. modules, and will require expansion racks to hold them. That's it. Thank you so much for your valuable time. Cheers.